is our CO2 detector. Uh, and also humidity detector. When you plug it in, it'll take uh, about 10 seconds to calibrate. Okay, and then uh, first, um, its reading is, um, well, we can see it's at about 600 um, parts per million, 684 parts per million CO2. It's at 66% relative humidity, but it's not updating uh, very often. If you look right, um, where is it? It's updating like fractions of a day, and to change its setting, so it's updating every like um, minute, uh, you'll press this down button and it'll change it to um, when you see that one minute or five seconds per division that's what you want so that you get rapid updates um, this lid that goes to this pyrex bowl i've cut a little notch on the side for the wire to go through uh, so that it can be like this inside and then we can close the top over it after we get the candle well or food burning in it so I'm gonna start this on fire okay, and then if you watch over here on the detector we're still at about like low 700s for co2 relative humidity is about 60% and then if we close it up We're going to move this over a little bit so that you can read it through the top. And uh, that will require me to move the wire a little bit. Close it up. It's not completely airtight, but it's good enough for trapping some of the gases in there. <laughs> 